Hey everyone, Tom here from Tom's AWI Review. So as you can see from this uh, baggie here, we are reviewing something from Eureka Miniatures. And what that is exactly is uh, their Dragoon helmets. So uh, a little bit of the backstory here. About uh, a month ago, uh, I got really interested in uh, Pulaski's Legion. And um, so there's there's more of a background to this story than, than I'm telling you here. But basically the idea is I wanted to, to make a regiment of Pulaski's Legion for my AWI army. Unfortunately, there are no dedicated miniatures that I really found uh, for Pulaski's Legion. And so I had to kind of create my own. And um, so this is part of a later video that I'm going to do. And, and so this right here is an officer in my regiment of Pulaski's Legion. He's base co coded right now in Ultramarine, Ultra, geez, speaking is hard apparently, uh, Ultramarine Blue yeah, from uh, the, the War Paints uh, from Army Painter. And um, so obviously n nowhere near done, but uh, you'll notice that it's a Perry miniature uh, 28 millimeter plastic AWI Continental Infantry officer. And uh, I've added a couple of pieces here. Uh, I chopped off the head and I used the Austrian Napoleonic uh, Infantry also from Perry. Um, and I used these helmets as a replacement and uh, you'll notice here that I've added um, a Warlord Games, um, I guess that'd be a Gorget or Gorget, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, so this guy is kind of like a really close approximation to Pulaski's Legion. Uh, it's not perfect, uh, obviously the helmet's completely, uh, I mean... It's, it's not the right helmet, but it's close, right? Well, I wanted to get a flag made, and here's where um, kind of like that top secret information comes in here. So I'm going to do a bit, another video on this, on the Pulaski's Legion, but I'm also going to do another video on this really awesome thing from Flags of War, okay? So um, Flags of War sent me, and this is like not even on the website yet, so this is like super top secret, you know, high high priority stuff here that you're looking at, uh, sent me along two flags to review, and um, this is Pulaski's Legion right on top here, and this one is the 3rd Continental Light Dragoons under Washington at Utah Springs. Um, so... I, I have these two flags, and I was like, man, I guess I should get some Dragoons now to really make use of this other flag. So I want to I want to review these properly. Flags of War was very generous to send this along. And uh, I, I was like, man, I want... I, so I, I'm, I'm going to do a, a third video coming up. <laughs> I, I, this is all leading up to this, I swear. Uh, so I'm going to come back around. I'm going to do another video leading up uh, on... Dragoon miniatures, and I'm going to look at um, third kind of the dragoons from Perry uh, Front rank uh, old glory um, uh, War games foundry and also fife and drums I'm gonna look at all of them together, but one thing I found really lacking was dismounted Continental uh, dragoons and the only people that make dismounted Continental Dragoons right now, as of this video, is Front Rank. And they only offer four poses. And I, I, I'm holding, I'm reserving judgment right now, but I'm not thrilled with the sculpts on Front Rank. I think they're a little stubby. I think that they're a little pudgy. Uh, kind of cartoonish from the pictures that I saw. But I'm reserving judgment. When they come in, I'll be able to look at them and kind of get a better idea of, you know, how they are compared to other figures and things like that. So, that was the long backstory. The Presently, I came across Eureka Miniatures and I was blown away by, by the options that they have. So, essentially, um, 
it, what they have for the Dragoons is you get like a two, at least a two-part figure. You get the horse. Uh, I think the horse and the figure are are cast together, but I'm not sure. Uh, but what's not cast is um, the hat, the hat or the helmet, whatever it is. And they have four different variations of Dragoon helmets that you can use uh, to create a Dragoon regiment of your choice using a variety of different poses. I think there's there's at least a dozen, I think, different poses altogether, maybe more. Um, and uh, I, they sell the helmets separately. And so I contacted Eureka Miniatures and I was like, listen, um, here's my idea. I'd like to get uh, a helmet to review. And they were so gracious. They sent along a helmet. And what I decided to do was take some Perry Miniatures uh, plastic miniatures for the AWI Continental Line, Continental Infantry, I should say, and uh, I was like, you know what? I have these miniatures. What can I do with them? I can use the helmets and create unique dismounted dragoon figures. So here we go. Without ado, further ado, here is uh, an example of using the helmet that I received. And I'll post a picture up right now of the helmet in uh, in the plastic bag when I first got it. So as you can see, uh, you know it, it's hard to tell from the picture how big the helmet is, but as you can see on the figure, it fits perfectly. All I had to do was chop off a little bit at the top of the head. And if you've ever had uh, Continental Infantry. Uh, you know the plastics from Perry that I'm holding in my hand. You'll know that the the top of the head is actually pretty easy to cut off because the hair's been removed to to put on. You know, here's an example of one to put on the hats. Okay, because like you get you get variations of hats with the plastic sets. See my review on these guys if you're curious as to what I'm talking about. So um, for this figure, I simply uh, removed the top of the head. And the hat fits perfectly. I mean, it, it, you could say that it's the exact size that you would want. So this is for a Continental Dragoon. Now, what's really cool is they also offer helmets for um, Pulaski's Legion. Now, if I had known that, I would have probably ordered 24 of them to make a regiment using the correct helmet. But because I didn't know that at the time... Um, I can't do that, but let me tell you, this is an idea for those of you out there who, who want to create unique regiments like Pulaski's Legion on foot, because they did have foot troops, obviously, it's what I'm making with my officer over there, uh, or Continental Dragoons, and dismounted, I should say, and so here's an option for you out there, uh, you want to, uh, create some foot, dismounted, uh, foot soldiers for, for the Dragoons, now you have that option. You just get some Perry plastics, um, buy, you know, a dozen or two dozen um, helmets, and and just go to town, and you'll have a really nice regiment. I will post another video in the future of my completed dragoons. So I guess that'd be four videos now. I've now committed myself to uh, making this eight-minute video now. So anyway, guys, uh, I hope you. Uh, found this interesting. Uh, I hope this gives you some inspiration to, uh, you know, create your own um, regiments of, or your own dismounted troops um, and uh, see more in the future. Take care. So thanks everyone for watching. I'm sorry that this went on a little longer than I thought it would. Here are some final pictures of the completed miniature. I'll be posting more soon. Take care, everyone.